Welcome back to Banjo Kazooie, Episode 2. I am your host, Ultra Director Jester. My next world is the hardest yet, and you will fail on that, I'll bet. Well, we'll see about that. Because now we're checking out Mumbo's Mountain, our first world! Uh, question for you, UDJ. What do you got? When you uh, save and quit, does it start you at the beginning of Gruntilda's Castle? Or Lair? Yes. Okay. Every time. So, in, in each world, there are 100 notes. And here is uh, seven right off the bat. There are five Jinjos, little bird-like creatures. And each one of them, if, if you collect all five, you get a Jiggy, of which there are ten in each world. Oh, shit. It, whoa, that was weird. I, I swam up this, uh, <laughs> this uh, incline, and I kind of... Let's back up a little bit. Okay, so 100 notes, f uh, five Jinjos, ten Jiggies... Uh, yes. not nearly as bad as Donkey Kong, I'm finding out. <laughs> and two extra honeycomb pieces in each world. Okay, I was wondering that. They gave you a free life extension at the beginning of the game, so I was yeah. I was curious to see how much health you would actually end up at the end if every world gave you an extension, but... if it's... There are nine worlds, two each, so that would be a total of, what, three health upgrades in total? Yeah. This is a bee house. Basically, it's just three free pieces of energy. <laughs> he told you to leave him alone, and you went and broke him! He's a bee house. What's he gonna do about it? Well, okay. Let's talk about getting our first Jiggy. This is Conga. Ow! He throws oranges. <laughs> we gotta make him throw the oranges at these orange switches. Does it, like, set off the detonator, or...? I, I, I don't know. Clever. There's our first one. <laughs> Clever bear. He, you, you did it yourself. So yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty easy. All right. All right, nine to go. On a oh, hey, we got an achievement. Yeah, Get jiggy. All right. We're getting jiggy with it. Na 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 na. Next thing we're gonna do is go up here and get an orange. Bring it over to Chimpy over here, because Kanga doesn't want to share his orange. Okay. That. That's not nice. From the... Oh, oh my god, it is another Jiggy! They're just, ha they're just handing these out! This is an introductory level, just to make... Just to get, get an idea of how the game's supposed to work. And we got eggs here. We got a Mumbo token here. The infamous Ecumbocum. <laughs> they even talk like that too, that's great. We have a witch switch here, which we can't really do anything with right now, but we'll, we'll get that later. Uh, we'll get to Mumbo tokens later too. But for now, we're gonna talk about these eggs and the fact that whenever I crouch down, I slide forward, and that makes the jumping a bit harder to do for the super flat for the jump. So anyway, here's Bottles. He's gonna teach us how to spit eggs. The ancient ways of the egg. So we crouch down. We can press Y to shoot it forward. So like and B and B to shoot them backwards. So that's like actively belching eggs. Yep. And our symbiotic relationship. Where are these eggs being held? In the backpack, obviously. I guess. So it gives us 50 free ones to start with. That's nice. And whenever you learn a new move, Bottles fills up your energy. Oh, so, that's also nice. Let's use this. Oh, get, the, get the eggs. There you go. Don't kill Donkey Kong. No. <laughs> oh. Uh, whoa! Hey! Whoa! Whoa! That was close. Okay, I will give Banjo Kazooie this. The one thing that 
aggravated me when playing Mario 64 was the fact that you leave the world every time you get a star. Three. Just having all the jiggies out in the open and you can tackle them any which way you want and you stay in the world is so satisfying. The way the notes here work differently too. In the original, when you collect the notes, if you die, then you lose all the notes and you gotta collect them again and you can only gain more notes by beating your note score. Ew. In the XBLA version, you get the notes, they're yours forever. Oh, They'll never go away. Thank God. Do they reset if you leave the area? I don't even think they even reset. They're just yours forever. God, what a brilliant idea. That That's how it was in Tui, as I remember. Oh, so you okay. need bottles move to get up here, but you don't need it. You can just jump up there. <laughs> and that. Cheating the system, cheating the system. Another mumbo token. There are five mumbo tokens in this world, and we're going to need to get all five of them. Here's the orange Jinjo. Three to go. And here's a free Jiggy! Just out in the open, alright. <laughs> Grab this little guy. Uh, I'm wondering who the actor is for Banjo. Like, uh, hi, we need you to come in for a vocal session. Oh, okay, what do I need to say today? Gah? I think it's, uh, Grant Kirkhope, maybe? I know he was Donkey Kong. I think he's Banjo and Kazooie, too. Really? It's either, that or Chris Sutherland. it's either him or Chris Sutherland, I don't remember. Post text! Oh! Thank you. So this is, this is the, the move that most speedrunners use, the talent drop. Yes, this is the move that, again, made me want to play Banjo-Kazooie. This is how you get on the, uh, the steeper slopes and all that. And what better way to try it up than right here? So can you go up and down, uh, slants? Yes, you can. Oh, nice. There's still some slants you can't get up. There's the yellow Jinjo. Jinjo! Now we've collected uh, the minimum number of notes we need to move on. In fact, we could leave right now and go to the next world if we wanted to. Oh. But that's not in the spirit of 100%. Okay, so... For a little kid's game, that's perfectly adequate. You know, yeah, you get a certain number of notes, you can move on with the level. Alright, I, I see your but, game, Rare. But we're adults here, so we play like adults, which means that we get all of everything. Yeah, play like adults, act like adults, start throwing controllers so, like adults. So here's an example of uh, the talent trot not being able to help you in every situation. We need to get that mumbo token up there. Come up here, we can grab this no problem, but this one, a little too steep for us. So we gotta come back later. How the hell do you do that? Well, I'll show you in a bit. First, I'm gonna head over here to Mumbo's Village, and we see the next Jiggy up there. <laughs> just, just chillin'. Just chillin'. There's a Mumbo token underneath the stairs there, but first I wanna grab that! And that's five. <laughs> Do you think the banjo player gets gets paid by like the note or by the hour? I don't think they used a real banjo until nuts and bolts. Oh my god! So that's a sound font then. Wow. Yeah, I think all rare games have the same kind of sound font. A little bit. I certainly love to use their stock sound effects too. <laughs> so this is basically your ground pound. Oh yeah. Now we've learned all three of the moves in this world. We're ready to keep going. Just like that. Is it the usual jump, press Z? Uh-huh. Show it off. This first one here. Oh, look at all the notes. Just a smattering of notes all over the ground. Here is Eggs. Lots of eggs. They almost look like those candy eggs that are just like pure sugar. Ah! And a bad guy. Dead. Then up here is... The Green Jinjo! Thank you for releasing me from my prison! Ah! And an extra life. Okay, for some reason I thought that was gonna and go. A jiggy. I thought that was gonna go like off the frame. Like it wasn't gonna give it to you because it 
falls into the ether. There are some bugs, though. Like what? No, we need to work. No, we need to worry about right now, but uh, we'll get there when we get there. First of all, we're gonna use our new spit move and uh, <laughs> spit some eggs into this guy. We're gonna put our head between our legs and kiss our ass goodbye. Oh. Make sure that you don't you don't get rid of all of them just yet. When you get this last one, hop on top, oh, and there's an extra honeycomb piece. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And there we go. <laughs> There's another one! Jesus! Okay, yes. You will win the race. <laughs> I forgot how quickly you can just beat an entire level. God. Th this is a, this is also the first level, so uh, don't think that the pace is going to be like this for all of them. Oh, I don't- I definitely know the levels get a lot longer. <laughs> I'm just blown away by how short this one is by comparison. This is just a baby introduction level. That, another jiggy. Yep, got another level, one. Level, just down in the open, yep. It's like you're walking on a sidewalk and you, you like, step in a jiggy accidentally, like, stepping in gum. It's like, oh, God, another one. There's our last Jinjo and our last Mumbo token over Holy there. shit. Speed running this monster. I think the best way to get this one is to come over here and do one of those numbers. Make sure that you get the Jiggy before you leave the level! <laughs> because if you leave the level without getting the Jiggy, it might vanish! Forever, or you just have to get the Jinjos again? Forever! Oh, shit, that's a glitch! Interesting. So there's one over here. Right there, that's a second honeycomb piece. Oh. All right, now that we've got everything... Oh. Okay, one more thing to do before we can go see Mumbo for the first time. Mm -hmm. Gotta take care of that witch switch. Oh, right. The witch, the witch, the witch switches... Swish, swish, swish. ...are how you uh, get the extra jiggies in Gruntilda's lair. Oh, cool. So we make our way over here. So it's, it's kind of like a for later kind of thing. So hit, oh, oh. hit that. And on top of Mumbo's Mountain is a Jiggy! Oh, I'll be damned. We have no hope of getting that with Talent Rot, though. Oh, so it's a very for later. Oh, oops. Come on. Trot the trot, dude. And the fastest way of moving in this game, aside from a certain move, is the Talent Rot and jumping. So you see, uh, Tassers and Speedrunners do that all the time. And now we're gonna go see our guy Mumbo. Eka Bokum. Eka Bokum indeed. He's got notes in there too. Oh, the face! He's the best shaman in the whole game. Oh, the face! Yeah, that's. It's too real. It's like they're using his nuts and bolts uh, <laughs> model or something. <laughs> it's it's scaring me. Get it out of here. I should mention there are what 115 mumbo tokens in the game. You only need to worry about getting 75 of them. Really? Wow. Is that so you don't need to get you don't need to get all the mumbo tokens for 100 percent but you, need, you do need to get enough for 100 percent that's what I was just about to ask so hop on the switch press B and he'll transform you into something wild oh my god today it's a termite hey you get achievement for that too I assume using mumbo for the first time yes <laughs> so we have no attacks, but whenever Mumbo changes you, the, your traversal is changed, which can, which can allow you to reach other areas and get more jiggies. For example, coming back here into the termite hut. That's right. We just nothing to it. What an interesting design choice. 
don't think the termites will give you any problems either. And that's all 100 notes! I'm just wondering, who at the design team decided, you know what, we need s some different, uh, some differing ways to get jiggies? What do we do? Well, Mumbo Jumbo is a pretty cool character. Why don't we make it so that he transforms the player? Change the traversal so we don't have to learn an, an, another new move. And with that, all ten jiggies, record time. Normally Banjo does a little little dance, a little jig. <laughs> but he's a termite, so he doesn't get to do that. <laughs> don't you hate it when that happens? So we could go back to Mumbo's hut and change back into a bear. But we can also leave uh, and remain as a termite for a little while. Oh. His range isn't exactly infinite, but we can use that to get on top of this mountain. Oh my here. god, why didn't I think of that? I don't think I ever got this one. There you go. Woohoo. Well, d w way to be better than me. <laughs> oh. Oops, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you, sir. There we go. Go a little further and, and that's it. Magic all gone. Can't go the whole game. Like, you know, you think you could just use the termite to get up there, but nope, you need the talent trot. This is an all termite run. Wouldn't be surprised if they found a way to, to clip through it and maintain the termite form. So these are note doors. Basically, they bar your progress until you get enough notes. There are 900 notes shit. in the game. Nine worlds, 100 notes each, so 900 notes. And I think you need, like, 675, maybe? To breach the final boss? Maybe, wait, maybe like 700 or something like that. Oh. But if you want to get if you want to get everything the game has to offer, you need to get like 886 notes or something. Oh. That's so specific. But don't worry, we're getting all the notes, so it won't be any problem whatsoever. <laughs> Banjo throwing a little temper tantrum since he opened the note door. That door was easy. You got past. Unfortunately, your first and last. <laughs> we'll see about that. Now let's move on to. Brentilda here. Ugh. Brentilda's nicer sister. Brentilda, uh, Brentilda's uh, shtick is that she's gonna tell us crazy secrets about Gruntilda. Oh, do we want to know? We we have to know. Uh, oh, we have to know that we have to know these for later. And the crazy part is we have to know them because there are three possible things she can tell us. For example, Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with salted slug flavored toothpaste. Ew. That could be two other things. She also washes her hair with rancid milk. Blech. And she gets her clothes from the trash can. I hope you're remembering these because I'm gonna quiz you later. Oh, okay. So we need, so our next level is Treasure Trove Cove and we can just put two pieces in there. I think we've got more than enough. So why would you want to remove pieces? I have no idea. So guess how many jiggies you need in order to get everything in the game? To get everything in the game? Yes. You said there's how many jiggies? 90? A hundred. A hundred jiggies? Uh, you know what? I'll go with 90. 98. Yeah, so there's no point to removing jiggies. There really isn't. What a... Especially when it's already complete, you can't do, you can't do anything about it, so... Yeah, what a strange function. This is a magic warp cauldron. Oh, thank Gr God. Gruntilda's lair is gigantic. It's enormous. So there are four points of warp that you can do. You gotta wait for me. Let's 
So we'll keep on going here. Higher and higher into Gruntilda's lair. Right down there is our next stage. But first... We'll show off up here is our next note door with 180. Well, we can't really go through there right away. We gotta go through the second stage first. Before we get to the second stage, I want to come in here for a quick moment. Oh crap, I didn't know you could come through here. Oh. There's our second warp cauldron. This is the orange one. So were there two oranges, two pinks to help you warp? Two, two oranges, two pinks, two blues, and two yellows. Okay. Hey, there's a mumbo token over here. God, you... Did you have some sort of, like, revelation when playing this again? And you were just like, oh yeah, I remember literally everything about this game. I love Magic Kazooie. <laughs> that, was my, that was my life when I was a kid, man. Well, good! So, we've now made it to Treasure Trove Cove. And next week on Banjo Kazooie, we're gonna jump in there. It's gonna be a fun time. We'll see you then. Let's get that treasure. Yeah.